just looking at us, our eyes are a little bit sunken. Maybe some chronic dehydration. That crust around the mouth is formula you've been feeding them. We'll take a look at our mouth last because they hate that idea. I know. All of our toes on our forelimbs. Um, got something firm about four millimeters around on the right hand side of the cranial abdomen. About there. Uh, overall underweight um, and low muscle mass. Uh, very small amount of feces in the GI tract. All of our toes on the back. Can you prove to me you could run away if you wanted to? I'll take it. We can hold up our body weight with our front legs. That's mostly what I wanted. Otherwise, our joints are quite normal. I know, that's weird, huh? Um, especially out of the two holds, the back legs forward okay. a lot. So we can move them through normal range of motion if we want to. That looks like an old break in the tail, about halfway down. It's a little serpentine maneuver here. Uh, does it again, further down. So we've got a few of them. I'm not sure that's a break. That's probably metabolic bone disease, old or current. Got really decreased muscle mass over the back legs. Um, kind of bowed femurs, which also kind of goes along with current or previous MBD. Okay, do we have a spot with my mouth? We hate this idea. Can you open it? Maybe? Cur, 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 cur. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. There we go. Okay. We were just talking about how reptiles can normally have a pretty yellow inside of their mouth, I, and they are paler than mammals, but I would say this is particularly pale um, for a reptile. Um, not worried about the yellow coloration. No. Can you let go, please? A little very slightly. Okay. What we're looking at on this girl, um, most likely not enough UV exposure and probably just not enough dietary calcium. Um, probably also missing some of our other trace vitamins, vitamin E and vitamin A. Um, so we probably want to give her a multivitamin shot. Okay, now I can see she's holding over that right forelimb, uh, which can be either developmental from growing up with not enough calcium because she can flip it back over, or it could be neurological from a current calcium deficiency. Yeah, she's going to pick it up and do it again. Um, normally a lizard would not want to hold their foot like this. They would want to hold it like this. Um, UVB exposure and also get her a multivitamin started. Um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to check radiographs to see what her bone density looks like. Okay. You've also got sort of slightly sunken eyes going on with some mild crusting around the eyes. Ears look normal. Nostrils are nice and clear. Check your mouth in a minute. Do we have all of our toenails? I know, what are you doing? What do you think? That's the feisty one. Ah. Also got about like maybe a five millimeter by eight millimeter 
density in the right cranial abdomen. Meep, meep, meep. Oh, good lizard. Bite that. Yeah, that's, I'd say, very bright yellow, um, but still not concerning for liver disease for me because in a reptile, uh, I would be expecting that to be green because they have Billy Veridin rather than Billy Rubin. So it probably just indicates that we're overall a little bit pale. It's showing up quite that bright, huh? What do you think? I know that was terrible, wasn't it? It was. You see your joints? Femurs feel a little bit straighter. Joints are pretty normal. Okay. They probably also x-ray her just to make sure she doesn't have any big abnormalities on her. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and just take pictures of both of them real quick. You can get a better look at what's happening with that tail here. Um, and this is an effect of not having enough calcium, generally an effect of not having enough calcium all developing. Um, we get these S-curves in the tail, and there's another smaller one down here. Zoom back a little bit. Um, our bone density is a little bit low um, out on the toes. We don't have as much definition as we should. We also got a dislocation on this is digit five of the left front. Um, it's probably an old one. They've got long spindly toes that are pretty easily damaged, especially if someone lets them walk around on carpet or something like that, or if they take shots at each other if they're at in a, an enclosure together that's not big enough for the both of them. On my x-ray, so I'd say overall we probably have low calcium. Um, I can't see that abdominal density on either of them, and they don't look like they have big gas buildup patterns. So I don't think they have a GI obstruction. It might be... Um, a little bit of hardened feces sitting in there or a urate plug that sometimes gets like retro pulsed up further up into the abdomen. Um, so hopefully as they get on better nutrition, um, that will eventually resolve. If it doesn't, we can take a little bit of a closer look with like an ultrasound probe or looking at doing some blood work to make sure it's not with any affected organs. But otherwise, I don't see any actual fractures on these, so it could be worse. Yeah. Um, so I would probably give you vitamin A, E, and D injections for each.